Tonight, an I-team investigation into the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Nearly two years later, Boston police are still investigating whether any of its officers were part of that mob. And other departments have finished their probes and fired officers who were found to be involved with that siege. So why is this investigation taking so long in Boston? Well, WBZ chief investigator Cheryl Fiendaka went looking for answers. It's been nearly two years since the attack on the Capitol, and Boston police are still investigating whether any of its officers were involved. Are you surprised at how long this is taking to resolve? No, actually, I was frustrated by a number of investigations that I did over the years. It took a long time to complete because of the, the rights that attach uh, to police officers uh, in Massachusetts. These are complicated issues. Police equal safety. The I-team has learned one of the investigations is centered on Officer Joseph Abishiano, seen here at a Back the Blue rally in 2020. Last year, after the insurrection, we uncovered a number of tweets, allegedly from the former Marine, using the Twitter alias mailbox Joe one posting said I will definitely be there January 6th and in a series of rants directed at Vice President Pence accusing him of treason one tweet said I hope you will never sleep well again city of Boston payroll records show Abishiano moved to New Hampshire and is on paid medical leave collecting more than hundred and twenty thousand dollars in 2021 <laughs> I think it's really important that the police are accountable and that this gets moved to a point where uh, people understand exactly what happened there. We're going to stand up. With no shortage of video of the breach at the Capitol, the FBI identified and arrested more than 800 people, including current and former law enforcement officers. Police departments around the country have reportedly conducted their own internal affairs investigations and fired officers found to be involved in the riot. The violent attack led to the death of a Capitol Police officer and injuries to dozens of others who were trying to prevent rioters from getting inside the building. It's reprehensible what happened down there. Officers lost their lives as a result of this activity. Um, so it, it couldn't get more serious than that. The I-team contacted the Boston Police for an update on the investigation, and we were told the case remains open. We also reached out to the officer, but did not hear back. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.